Oh, we're getting ready to go on another adventure today. And what we're gonna do is pick up where we left off another day at this exact same site. Um, I was out here doing some scuba diving, and we're going to scuba dive again today. And there was a spot that I found kind of up in these logs behind me that had a lot of modern junk in it. Well, modern, you know, 1920s, 1950s. But I found a thing that, as I was digging it up, it broke, but it looked to me like it might be a Civil War sword in a scabbard. Now, I did not find the basket part, you know, the hand, the hand guard, which would be made out of brass. This was just, just the iron part. Unfortunately, a thunderstorm came up last time I was here, and I wasn't able to retrieve it. Now, looking at the video, it looked like it could be a sword. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in today. We're going to go find that thing, put it in the bag, and um, explore some of these log areas and stuff in here. You can see the water is really, you know, pretty clear. It's only about 10 feet deep here or so. And what we're going to do is go up along this edge. I'm going to see if I can find that uh, sword piece, or what I think is a sword. And we're going to look for other stuff. Now, if that doesn't pan out, we'll get the metal detector out. And uh, we'll do some detecting and find some stuff. I uh, can't really detect in this junk because it's just so much junk. I will, do want to warn you, though. <laughs> when I was here last time, I got some leeches on me. Uh, it didn't look like there were any on my face where you could see them, but um, there are leeches here. And I, I just go into my shirt and shorts. My legs are looking pretty rough, beat up from the river, so hopefully that won't attract too many of them. <laughs> I don't want them to drain me of all my uh, precious bodily fluids. Anyway, what do you say? Let's get suited up and get in. This is where I was when I found the thing I thought was a sword. And I set it on this log. Right there is where I set it all. So now let's get suited up. Hold your breath. Okay, you are under. I'm going to warn you there is a slight leak in my BCD inflator. So you're going to hear some bubbles. No idea what that... Uh, metal thing was back there but i think it could have come from a railroad uh, so we're going to search for those pieces that i found we have to go up to these logs and this is where i think i got the leeches um, yeah there they are Old timbers that's the insulator i found on the first trip which i actually uh, lost all the video footage from that so you're not going to get to see that video that's a you know like a Electric insulator, railroad, telegraph insulator. And there's some pieces I found the first trip and set them up there. The reason I didn't uh, recover them the first time was a thunder and lightning storm came up. And I uh, had to get out of there quickly. I didn't want to get fried underwater. That's what I think was a sword or thought was a sword. It was bass in the background. Uh, but on close inspection, I'm pretty sure it isn't like 99% <laughs> sure. <laughs> because uh, there were some more pieces like that uh, underwater in those logs. There's some hinges, um, you know, those iron hinges that would have gone to a door of some sort. Some other little pieces, a uh, handle off of something that could be off, could be off a Civil War wagon, it's hard to say. Any of that stuff could be. There's a lot of Civil War activity there. Big pieces of iron. Probably off a bridge or something, I don't know. There's a railroad there, but it's not real close. But uh, a lot of it looks railroad B stuff. Some more big insulators, ceramic insulators. I'm kind of feeling around to see if I can feel a basket to the hilt, which is a hangar, this big brassy thing. It's pretty distinctive. Uh, I think if I came across, I would have felt it. I did. And that's another piece that looks kind of like that sword <laughs> that I found on the first trip and I just showed you. That's why I'm thinking it's not a sword at all. Um, it has a, that's double iron on the inside, so it's not quite the same, but it has the same type of encrustation on it where the stuff rusted. Pretty cool logs and stuff, but I'm not really seeing anything super old in there. I know there's leeches waiting for me to move stuff like that. And they'll come swimming out and get on you. Some more of those insulators. I, uh, no idea how old those are. If any of you guys know, let me know. I think I'll show you one or two. A little, a little better shot. I don't know if they're worth collecting up or not. 
have iron on the top, so. Some type of ceramic. Can't imagine they're too old. I could be very wrong. It's a lot of them in there. Oh, by the way, I did fix that leak in the uh, BCD inflator, so you're not going to hear the bubbles after this video, or at least one or two more videos. Well, I'll tell you, I don't feel like I'm going to really find much um, right in that one area where I got that stuff. I don't think that's going to be a sword by the looks of it, but we got it in the boat, so we'll take it home. But I'm going to go ahead and get the metal detector out, and we'll keep working our way up along through this bank over here, see if there's anything else. But everything I'm seeing doesn't look terribly old, so... It's probably covered over and all that silt, but let's get the metal detector out. Give that a shot as we go along. I think it's a, I think that's the way to do it. Okay, let's look for some bullets. That dark soil you see, soil, um, is actually gunpowder that's coming off of these cartridges. You'll see that a lot in this video. Because uh, these, when these bullets were dropped, they were dropped with a paper cartridge attached. And inside the paper cartridge was gunpowder. So most of the bullets have gunpowder in the base still. You can see it kind of in the gravel from the bottom of the floor. If I was just doing this without making a video, I'd just reach in there and grab them real quick and be done with it. But you know, I want you guys to be able to see all the way to See leeches? <laughs> But I want you guys to be able to see what they look like on the bottom. That's just, that's gorgeous right there. And the thing is, I know some of you guys get tired of bullets, but... Oh, that's a little washer. I'm not sure what that went to. Probably a cartridge box or something like that. Maybe a bayonet scabbard. Uh, but the thing with these pointed bullets like this that are dropped, uh, well, they're valuable for one thing. They create historical items. Uh, but you never know what else might be dropped with them. They could be uh, cartridge box plates in there, belt buckles, coins, buttons. So you really never know what you're going to find when you're digging dropped items like that. It was a 58 caliber mini balls. Uh, mini balls came basically in three different calibers 54, 58, and 69. 58 is the most common. These are actually all better mini balls, by the way. If you look at the base in some of these shots, you can see that in the very base, the, uh, the bullet itself, the flange is on the other end, where it goes around, is not, uh, not real concentric. It's kind of like thicker in places, thinner in others. That's usually a good way to tell if it's going to a bullet because uh, the Confederacy did not have the technology to make stuff like the North did. But the Yankees were shooting the perfect. And unfortunately, when they're not made just right, uh, they don't always fly true either. If there's a little bit more lead on one side of the base than another, they can fly off, you know, off of left, right, up and down, or even parts of the skirt, you know, the thin part of the bullet can rip off you know, right after it was fired before it really gets out there very far. metal detector to look around for more squeakers because of the pinpointer everything all metal sounds the same it could be just a bunch of nails there that here are the pinpointer and I don't want to be digging nails all day so I want some of those squeakers and if I hear squeakers I'll get the pinpointer that's a bunch of bullets there huh I just do that so you guys can see them. Oh, I like it. I like to see them too, but um, it's mostly so you guys can see them. There's a bullet tucked in beside the rock. Now that's kind of a cool bullet right there. That's actually a particular kind of Confederate mini ball. Um, not very common either. Mm -hmm. 
your black staining in there too, and with that bullet there. Ah, it's a ring-tailed sharps. It's a type of sharps. The base of it has a ring, uh, a lead-like ring around it that you can tie the paper cartridge to. Uh, use a string to tie it on that little ring. The uh, problem with it was kind of a poor design because it created a weak spot. There's some bass over there. He doesn't want a mini ball, he wants a Helgramite. Helgramites and leeches and stuff come up when I'm fanning and the bass will swoop in and grab them from right in front of me. So they'll, they'll follow me all around the river. Five ounces of lead, that's a fishing weight. You know, somebody might use that if the river is really flooded and there's a lot of current. You certainly don't need it. The conditions that are in today, or you know, when I made this video. A little modern bullet, you can see it's got a copper jacket. There's no copper jacket at all, it's during the American Civil War, that would be the 1860s. Uh, that could be, could be 100 years old, but it's not that old. Not for me anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. dark stain is suspected to be some more bullets in there. I actually did the first edit on this video about a week ago, so I don't exactly remember every scene. I want to do a voiceover for you. Uh, but I haven't watched it again since I did the edit, and I've you know, probably done three videos since then. You see, I actually dug, uh, oh, you see, uh, when I look at the base of that, um, it's flat across the base, and it's actually paper. That's actually paper from the paper cartridge part of the, of the uh, bullet, you know, the cartridge, that is on a bunch of these bullets. It didn't um, decompose either because the lead inhibited the microbial growth of uh, different things that could you know, make it decompose or um, the gunpowder did that. But yeah, what I was saying earlier is that you'll see, you know, I might be digging on this and I might actually spend five minutes digging the hole, but I'll cut out like four and a half minutes so you don't have to you know, watch dirty water swirling around all the time. So you'll see some weird cuts. I try to put transitions in there for you. See it flat? That's paper. I didn't know that until I got on the shore really and started looking at them. There she is, look at that. <laughs> I'm kind of hesitate. I love that. Really looking forward to getting back to this spot. Um, the problem is the um, rivers are actually up right now. For me to Kind of see in that one where the base is not really concentric. That was a good example of, you know, where I cut out a whole bunch of just fanning and, you know, dirt climbing around the water with that last cut. That's a beautiful land for bullets there. Deep caliber.
I don't think I see it in real life, you know, when I'm scuba diving, I can see it in the, you know, the camera now looking at the footage.
Oh, we got some more thunderstorms coming. I could hear some rumbling underwater, and the sky is turning black. Looked at my radar. This little storm is going to miss us, but there's another one coming. This is really cool. This is actually a uh, the remains of a cartridge box. This is the tin. It's all rusted and falling apart. Those are the bullets that were inside. Probably most of these clumps of bullets that we're finding are old cartridge boxes that uh, the soldiers lost when they're crossing the river. And uh, they you know, the, the metal, the iron part of it rotted away. Um, I'm going to just hang tight here for just a few minutes and see if this thing passes. I think we've got a little more time, so we'll probably duck back under. At least for a few more, a few more minutes. <laughs> a lot of bullets today, man. It's been pretty awesome. Okay, we ducked back under. I'll look for some more Civil War relics or anything else we can find. Oh, that's kind of cool. That is a pewter. Spoon. That's an old, old pewter spoon. Uh, dates of Civil War before. Bass are we? Yeah, so that could have been lost by the soldiers. It could have been lost 100 years before. Well, 50 years. It's more of the dark staining, so I'm suspecting we're going to get some more bullets out of that. Already. Mini ball. Of course, what um, I didn't realize is that I've forgotten about the storms at this point. I was looking at that old bass. I was so excited about finding these uh, all these bullets. I just kind of forgot about it. Kind of lost track of time. This flyer is probably from fishermen. I think. I don't think you're terribly old. Well, unfortunately, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> got a little carried away underwater, and um, a thunderstorm came up on me. Uh, I just saw a flash and uh, a boom, and uh, I had to come out. That one was close. That was, like, really freaking close. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I jumped and screamed a little bit. <laughs> anyway, uh, i got to sit here in the bushes, and hopefully... Uh, not get hit and just wait it out because I got a ways to go to get back to the vehicle so I just have to sit here and wait <laughs> oh god that scared the hell out of me man <laughs> well all I can say is we're probably uh, won't get hammered with too much hail because I got a little shelter over my head uh, storm's kicking up pretty good um, Things will get a lot worse before it gets any better, though. I, try, I knew that storm was coming, too. I just, I just flew too close to the sun. Well, at least 
these are already wet. I don't guess they're too electrified yet, but I had, uh, had another really close one. That's not too far away either. Woo-wee! We'll see you on the next one. You can count on it. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go 